would be telling a huge lie if i say that i didn't contemplate so many times if i wanted to do this review or not but overall we have a video meaning i finally made a decision and i decided to talk about the movie lisha b the uprising but before we get right into the video itself which i promise is going to be worth your time and your data if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to the channel i love that you keep on coming back to this space to check out what i'm up to and in case you're just hearing my voice in my channel welcome welcome i really do hope you stay i am ron kesui on this channel i review movies talk about web series tv shows that i feel might interest you so please don't hesitate to click on the black subscribe button it is absolutely free and make sure you like this video it helps youtube to know that okay i enjoyed this video i would like you to show somebody else this video so i'm looking forward to that subscription of yours and that like okay thank you so so much so yeah like if you're used to my channel you know that on here we talk about my expectations what i eventually saw in the film my likes my dislikes some performances that stood out to me my final verdicts and ratings if i remember to so yeah we're going to be doing all of that in today's video first things first i would like to ask what did you think about the movie let's do away with your expectations going into the film what did you think about the movie itself when you eventually saw it on netflix before you get to listen to my own take i'm really curious as to what your thoughts were concerning the film so i'll be looking forward to those in the comment section so what were my expectations hmm very interesting interesting question i honestly didn't know what to expect with the movie Lee Shabby. i just knew it was a latif ade dimeji film and i mean i i was kind of looking forward to it because this was this was going to be like a first movie of ease that will be doing like an epic film like so i was kind of i was rooting for him and i was sort of slightly excited for the film i wasn't overly excited for the film because we've seen this particular type of movie in the past few months very much if i do say so like we've seen this with election bar the king the thieves ajakunabi uh, like just just a, a good number of movies out there that have similar theme sets and you know vibe with the movie lisha b so i wasn't overly excited about oh something new or whatnot but i was excited for latifah de dimeji being you know the owner of this film and also i didn't do like my you know when you're watching like historical films films that are based on like history stories of past you know legends and whatnot it's always very good to do like your own research before actually going into the film but i'm actually glad i did not because it would have been a huge letdown for me to have done my research to have been highly expectant and then going to the film and watching what i watched but yeah i think i didn't do my findings prior to the film so i didn't know what to really really expect so i didn't know the story in its entirety i didn't know the huge part of the story that the movie was being based on so i basically just trusted the film to give me intel on everything i needed to know about the history of lisha b you know yeah so that was basically it so let's talk about the synopsis real quick lisha b the uprising is a movie based on the history of an egg farmer called lisha b who in the 18th century or your empire rescued his people from years of oppression from the oyo leader now on to the things i liked about this film i liked the makeup the makeup was really good it spoke all your the tribal marks were spot on i love the costume as well it was really really good the use of ashio k colorful ashio k the different prints and different fabrics and the different feel that he had i really really liked that about the costume i also like the cinematography i feel like cinematography was the best selling point of this film so it stood out to me i enjoyed the cinematic part of this film as well also the sets the filming location like the filming sets you know it felt like it was like villages were built for you know like the set was properly built for the sole purpose of this film which i really appreciated it just goes to show that a lot of thoughts went into depicting the location with regards to the period they were trying to talk about the movie or the story was based around so i really liked the effort that was put into that like i already said about the costume it gave the feel of a proper indigenous yoruba community from the time it was set in secondly i liked the acting yeah not the acting from every of the actors but i would say from some particular people 
let's take it from mr macaroni i liked it was funny it wasn't excessively funny but i like the banter i had with you know latif ade dimage's character alicia b and you could tell that these friends are they, they they have opposing you know personalities they are not so similar and they are not very different and you know it just just like two friends that can't do without each other even though they are pursuing different things in life i don't know if you get my drift but like i got that vibe from their friendship and how they are they, uh, now their character was portrayed as friends so i really liked that about Ma mr macaroni i think he was able to deliver also i liked that about the images performance to an extent i feel like it was believable i i mean yeah <laughs> but yeah i think he performed his performance was good enough for the character i also like the corrosive character i saw a few comments here a few comments here and there online i feel like a lot of people didn't necessarily like her character a lot or they felt like her lines were being delivered slowly i probably didn't see it that way maybe it was just me but i well maybe i'm just giving her grace considering the fact that this is like one of our first i don't know if she has appeared in another movie before but like this is the first movie i'll be seeing her in so i really liked it and you know i've seen her do some of her you know performances on her instagram page alongside saga i you know just watching all those videos online and then having to see her in like a proper film playing like a proper character delivering like proper lines maybe that was what really really made me appreciate her character and you know made her character stand out to me i think are they being paid are they the major also did a f an okay job she had a really good friendship with um you know licorice's character and you know and also with latif adejimeji's character so i think she did okay the star of the show that i cannot but mention would be ibrahim chata oof that man is good at his craft i remember getting to work around the time that this film was released and someone was like oh who do you think between ibrahim chata and this person i'm not trying to mention the other person's name because it's not a competition but like who do you think is better and i'm like oh this guy is good at his craft he's good at this 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 and yeah i think the person was asking because of the character he played in this film and i think he delivered his character 100 percent his character stood out to me the most he was his character as songo deyi you know he was I hated his character so much like i detested his character so much he was so ruthless he was so vile oof like i was feeling this disdain towards his character and that's just a testament to how well he delivered his character like for me finished watching the movie i was like oh for me to feel this certain way towards this character it, just, it only means that he played his character to the t also i liked the story that this film was based on i appreciated the fact that they were trying to tell the story of how the yoruba culture was altered for good you know prior to going into this film or prior to hearing about the film you know when it was announced and how it, and you know hearing that it was based off of lisha b's history and whatnot i really didn't know much about the history of lisha b and what he had done in his time and how he had altered or you know changed the trajectory of some people in the yoruba culture and yoruba community and all that so i really appreciate these historical films anytime i get to see them you know the one with um from Lyra and some kuti and the likes i really really loved that one so I really appreciate when we have movies that talk about our culture, talk about our history. You know, it makes a lot of people go back in time and read history and what had happened in the past and why certain things are certain way this time around. So I really, really appreciate the efforts towards spotlighting our history and our culture. Now, on to the things I didn't like about this film. Oh, in as much as I said I liked the story, I really didn't like the storyline. I really didn't like the storytelling and the dialogue. The dialogue wasn't giving like i can't remember a dialogue that stood out to me or i can remember from top of my head f from the film i really can't even pick one i can't even remember any i feel like the storyline lacked a lot i was so bored i won't even lie i was so bored like i remember i finished the film and i was just angry but I, I mean and i feel like my anger stemmed more from the fact that i hated ibrahim chata's character so much but on the flip side i'm like i'm also really not feeling i also really didn't feel the movie like it just felt really bland for me in my opinion i'm not even going to lie oh and also one of the reasons why i was contemplating doing the film or not because i wouldn't want to come on here and talk about 
a movie and wow it's not great and all that but like <laughs> if it was a movie that was great i would have come here to talk about it as well so i'm like what we just need in life is balance talk about the good talk about the bad right so i was so bored uh, like a lot of going on without actually giving us anything i wish we knew more to lisha b he seemed uninterested in love um mr macaroni would try to put the idea of him and you know licarose's character being together and you'll be like oh that's not even it it's far away from that or he and abebe yeah that's adibinpe adidimiji's character together and you'll be like oh he's not interested like he gave off this air like he's not interested in love he's not interested in settling down or f- having a family and whatnot so i wish we had gotten more into that okay why is this guy so cold to us like what had happened what's going on with him you know he had a solid reason to personalize the fight against your your empire but what was his reason for not interested in love like i feel like that side wasn't well explained to us the viewers i know aside from him being a farmer a devoted farmer at that what was we didn't get to see more to him he wasn't interested in love so we didn't get to see his love life we only knew him as a farmer who eventually took up a fight against the Oyo empire because they killed his friend and the story was based on him not his friend so we didn't get to see more of his person or learn more about him or i feel like his character wasn't fully fleshed out you know we saw him spend most of his time at the farm or at other people's farm or fighting the battle and whatnot we didn't get to see any of his family members what had happened is he in that community alone is he living alone does he have any family did he lose his family is his family far away nothing nothing and also considering the fact that he knew so much about voodoo and you know powers and spirits I had questions like okay is he from a lineage of voodoo how did he have so much access to those spirits like they should have given us more explanation as to how he had so much access to voodoo and all those spirits he, he felt like he knew them so much he has known them all his life like so how is it a family thing did he how did he come across these powers and all that there was no explanation to that so we really didn't i really didn't feel invested in his fights i mean this death of his friend was sad and all that but i really didn't I couldn't connect his character so much to be invested in rooting for him if you get what i mean you know how storytelling in a film carries you all through and at the end and you feel so invested in the film and you feel like a part of it that when you get to the end point of the film it feels like you've been on a journey with the writer of the film i don't know if you've if a film has made me made you feel that way this movie mommy wa by Bjorn stevens actually made me feel that way and i remember mentioning it in my review but with this movie it didn't feel like i was in sync with the writer i didn't feel like the writer had taken me on a journey all through the film so when we eventually finished the film i was very wasn't really feeling it but yeah so i didn't like the way mr macaroni's character was written he was written to be a person that was well to do but also lazy um you know someone that really wasn't pursuing anything serious except love he wasn't you know business savvy he wasn't interested in farming or whatnot but he felt like he was comfortable enough to live his life like that so someone that was written to be like that or was introduced to us a character that was written to that way to the viewers i wondered or when they told us that he killed or when his character was written to kill 10 men i was like how did that happen like this person gave up the vibe of someone that doesn't have so much power doesn't have so much stamina cannot even fight a man that is the same size as himself like how was he able to fight 10 armed men i mean i get that they eventually killed him and whatnot but like he didn't feel like the same person he didn't feel like the same character so i think more should have been done in that regard also the casting there were so many unnecessary talents so many unnecessary talents i remember someone saying to me today that they are tired of seeing the same faces and i was like exactly exactly like i just asked them what they thought about the film and the person was like i'm tired of seeing the same faces you know it feels like you're seeing the same faces from election bar from you know king the um is it king of thieves and then you know this very recent yoruba films we've seen that have gone to the cinema and i've also gone to netflix it just feels like one person has a film oh i'll appear in your film so you appear in my film i'll appear in your film so you appear in my film that was the vibe it was giving 
that was major reason why i wasn't really looking forward to this film if i'm being honest because i'm just like i'm seeing the same faces ibrahim chasa femi adebayo you know lasiva de dimeji you know like give me a break i need new faces i need just something new I, the casting just wasn't for me and i just was like there were a lot of really good talent that were unnecessarily casted for example Olumide Oburu I don't think he said a word I don't think he said two lines I don't think he had a proper dialogue in this film and at some point I was seeing him on the battlefield and I'm just like why what the heck like why why like why <laughs> sadly he's starting to feel like with your bad movies anyone and everyone must appear in it and it feels like rinse and repeat at this point seeing the same faces over and over again with similar sets and themes and stories i just wasn't feeling it like i was bored i was over it who might enjoy seeing this film i feel like if you enjoy watching yoruba movies yoruba epic movies you just enjoy the yoruba culture seeing people speak yoruba language you might enjoy this film also if you're a fan of the talents like the stars in this film and you don't mind them acting a good or a not so good film you just appreciate their work and you're rooting for them regardless of what they are doing then you might also enjoy watching this film so what are my final thoughts and ratings for this film my final verdict and my final thoughts would be that i really i not i really i know how i feel I'm very sure <laughs> I didn't enjoy the film. It wasn't for me, I guess. I would have been so mad if I went and read the history online, like I already said, and then got to see this in the film. And I'll be rating the film. <laughs> no, you rate the film first. What would you be rating this film? Regardless of everything I've said, based on how you felt when you saw the film, let me know what your ratings are in the comment section. But I will be rating this film a 1.5 over five 1.5 because i liked the cinematography i liked the makeup um ibrahim chata really stood out to me um i also liked you know the costume and location yeah that's why i'll be rating the film 1.5 over 5 like i said i would like to know your rating in the comment section please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to subscribe this brings us to the end of this video please leave a comment what do you think about the movie lisha b what do you think about my review what do you think about you know the characters everything in the film let me know what you thought in the comment section until next time when i see you and when you see me make sure to remain happy because you owe it to yourself bye guys